Phil X Beer Reviews back again with another episode of As Beer Swirls Grow Edition on location at New Hartford, New York. That's where Grow has planted its proverbial roots as they've moved out of the rent's house into their first apartment. Couldn't have said it any better, Dan. Exactly. Now that we're here, finally, after all this waiting, what did we decide to drink? Um, an IPA. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, no, this is uh, a double IPA. And this is called Love Harvester. So it comes in at 9% ABV, and it's topped with okay. Cryo Pop, El Dorado, and Citra. I'm in, I'm in. Uh, it looks, it looks nice and kind of pale yep. orange, yellow pale orange right there. Um, uh, personally poured by Garrett, one of the co-owners, him and his lovely wife, Alana. And, no, I um, think that, that's the world worst guy you're thinking of. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, that is a war horse guy. Wrong guy. Yeah. Uh, nice little uh, half finger of foamy head on there. Looks fantastic. No real carbonation bubbles to be seen. So the head dissipates kind of, but if I skip a good swirl. Yeah, yeah. We give it the old FLX swirl and she comes right oh, back. Oh, yeah. But, uh, it looks beautiful. It's just fantastic. So it's a lot darker, like where we're kind of sitting. Yeah. Uh, but if you went outside, this is very bright and kind of vibrant. Very um, much so. More like a, a muddy orange. I'll take lemon. it. Huh? I'll take it. Let's get away from it. Oh. Woo. oh boy, that is a nice, dank floral citrus. Yeah, absolutely. That smells fantastic. There's a pop shot of watermelon there for me. Ooh, okay. Pop shot of watermelon and like maybe a fresh kiwi. All right, I'm getting a nice like red berry. Yeah, a little bit of orange, fresh like orange pith. That floral aspect, it's very, yeah. it's very springtimey, you know, just like very like pollen in the air kind of like. Yeah, you know yeah it's I mean? a very bright, sunshiny day. This is the stuff that makes Flonase a thing. This is why you need Flonase right here. Uh, I can't elaborate the on that. The bees are pollinating in this one. Simon, cheers. cheers. Congratulations, Grow. Yep. Oh. Soft, airy, right when it hits the palate. Very, again, bright, sunshiny, citrus notes right off the rip. This is so much more than the, the nose. Oh my God, yeah. That The nose was just like a precursor to what was gonna explode. Yeah, it has totally blossomed into just like the sweet kind of malt forward kind of IPA. Yeah. But it, it's bright and crisp at the same time. Mm -hmm. So when I say sweet and malt forward, I don't want you to think like, oh, it's just like this, just sweet bomb and no like, you know, hoppy presence. Cause it's, there's a beautiful hoppy presence to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the bitterness is, it's subtle, and dialed back a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's just enough to break up all the sweetness that's in there. Almost, so there's almost like a Pez kind of sweetness. To oh, it. I can see that. So dude, the, the Bonnie, is kind of like oily, yeah, right? Like, yeah, absolutely. But the mouthfeel, it drinks a lot lighter than a nine percent. I wouldn't think it's nine. I, I could, if someone said, "Oh, you're a seven and a half percent, eight, I'd say eight, eight. It, it, it definitely, you may get yourself in trouble with this one. This is very much a hop. Like, it's it almost, it almost comes off like an extract of hop. Yeah, like, like a, the hop. Concentrate. Yep, yep. I think that's where you get into like the, oh, I can taste the hop oil, man. They, they, it's just like tinctures of tinctures of hop oil. So the more you get into it, it's definitely, it comes off of, it's getting sweeter. Yeah, but it's a, I, man, there's a, there's a little strawberry and melon in there too, like cantaloupe. This is delicious. So I'm definitely still getting that, that kind of kiwi thing. Uh, the watermelon would be more like a watermelon um, sorbet kind of oh, thing to it. I think that is spot on. Um, I, I guess you're dangerously close to Dole Whip territory yeah, right now. I guess, so. I guess the only thing I'm like kind of nervous about is the sweetness. So, uh, it, it does, where it doesn't drink like a high double, low triple, I think that's the one part that does remind you that it is a 9% double IPA. Is that sweet? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Kind of heavy on the palate. I think the more you drink this, it would definitely get um, a little palate heavy. I was gonna say, could this be fatiguing after you drink a whole can? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, 
you know, not for nothing. This could be like one of the first videos uh -huh. where I'm not looking off to the secondary camera or the screen. It's refreshing. Because you're always like yelling at me for it. I feel like he's actually noticed my presence here. Like I'm the new screen you can look at. It's but, great for me. But here's the thing. You're going to watch this back and the audio is going to be terrible. And you're just going to see my eyes darting around to everybody walking by. I'm just like attracted. Like I'm a mosquito. There's the blue light. I, I just assumed there were going to be some like phantom looks like. Oh, let me check the screen. It's not here. Oh, I gotta look at Mike instead. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up? I haven't seen you in years. <laughs> um, yeah, no, this is, um, it's a very pleasant, drinkable 9% double IPA. Yeah. However, if you prefer that more bitter kind of IPA, this is not the one for you. I think as far as like not being a huge triple guy myself, I think this is definitely one that um, if I'm planning, this is going to be my last beer for the evening that I'm just going to sip on, I'm all about it. So this is, I mean, while it's got the, the big pop of the juicy kind of aspect and it's classified as a hazy, I think this is flirting with an American IPA. I think you're right. Um, it, it does have that crispness in there still. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll give you that. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean? It's like if if Mama Hazy hooked up with Daddy Old School IPA, <laughs> and, and they had a baby, it, it came out and it's living in this new bachelor pad at Grow, and, and here you go. So they moved out, but now they had this beer move in. Yes. So, okay. All right. It's getting confusing the family tree at Grow. It is. I, uh, I can't pay attention to it. But you know. There's always new branches growing. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to so go with the puns all day. Plant references all day, all day Fred. Uh, so what do you rate this thing? Um, boy. Is it my favorite IPA from Grow? Absolutely not. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll give this a... Th I'll give it a... 3.9. Oh man, I am much higher than you on really? I'm gonna give it a 4.25. That, dude, that's amazing. I really like You usually one. hate like triple. I know, and then I feel like I say that every time I like one, but this is this is really good. The only the only thing that would make it better for me is just maybe a bit more bitterness to it to balance it out. But see that that's where I'm at. Man, this is good. I could give like plus three points to my score if we drop the sweetness a little and just added just a a little bit of just like I want that hot bite. Sure, not, sure. Not so much the bit, like the bitterness would be nice. Yep. But I want that punch of like fresh hot. Okay. Rather, I, this is like just more cooked down. Like, I, I want to say two things. Like grilled fruit. First, I, the I, I forgot my first thing already. Because Fantastic. you you distracted me already because you said fresh hops and now all I'm thinking is well now that they got this place why can't they brew a fresh hop IPA and now I want that oh, like a like awesome. a wet hop kind I of want deal like a wet hop IPA now oh my god they distracted me from this period. oh so what I was gonna say initially was like I think I went into it like immediately thinking oh this is this is my Nightcap, I know I'm only having one of these, mm -hmm. so I, I can enjoy that entire can going. I'm not going to try and put back two or three of these. Yeah. So it's definitely, um, so it's definitely opening up and everything. Uh, if they wanted to do a little bit of lacing and legs on the glass, but yeah. Uh, basically, Mike wants you to recreate like celebration or something. No, no, no. I, I know Garrett loves Motueka as much as we do, so if he wants to do a <laughs> Motueka, yeah, yeah that's right. right. You know, it is. All right. Uh, anyway, so. Yeah, until next time, um, if you haven't had Grow Beer before, you can get it. They distribute all over central New York into the Finger Lakes. Yeah, area, western, western New York, York, central, they're eastern, eastern, Find yourself southern, some Grow Beer. Do make the everywhere. trek down here. Definitely. Just open this weekend. It's fantastic. Absolutely. All right, until next time, gang. Cheers. Cheers.